Hello everyone, hope you are well on this Monday evening. I was on the way home from work and I just wanted to bring some breaking news to you that I was running across a little bit earlier. You're not going to hear about, well chances are, you're not going to hear about this on the main stream or main news sources, whether it be radio, TV, internet, I mean you name it. But there's three different things I wanted to, to go over real quick, just to make you aware of it. First, uh, I saw where, and this happened just not long ago, I guess this afternoon, but uh, a mass casualty incident in Bedford, Ohio. This is at a metal, a metal manufacturing plant. Uh, they said it was a large explosion, large fire, unclear how many casualties are in this but it's multiple they said of course the cause is unclear we hear that a lot don't we and uh, I mean it seems like a lot is in Ohio and it, or that at least that region of the country here lately with all the train wrecks uh, we got a lot of train wrecks figurative, figuratively and literally uh, and, and it's really so many that you just really can't ignore it. I mean, no wonder, you know, the the media is not reporting these things. But I think that's for a reason. And I think the fact that they're not reporting it makes me want to pay attention to it that much more, you know, obviously. But anyway, uh, the, the details are, are sketchy on that one so far. Other two things. The other one is... And I almost missed this one, but I saw it late last night, and then uh, I heard about it again today. A couple of you sent this story to me, but in Oakland, California, Northern California, had a massive power outage. Really, it hit Oakland, mostly, and that airport in Oakland, California. And they said that a fire had ripped through a substation. This was in Alameda County. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Alameda Alameda County uh, but anyway it put about 9,000 people in the dark and they're still struggling with that today grounded flights and it shut down the security at the airport so a lot of people were just standing around or sitting around stranded but we've heard that a lot lately too about substations issues and you know on this one they said uh, the cause is unknown we're investigating Again, we hear that a lot. A bunch of dog squeeze is what it is. I think they know what it is. A substation on fire, really? I mean, I would think it's either an attack like we've seen over the recent weeks or months, or it could be a cyber attack as well. So I guess a cyber attack could do that also, I'm not sure, I mean, or a physical attack like we've been seeing, like I said. So there's that one. They're still struggling with that one. We also have more earthquakes. God bless this country, this, this area, this region in the, in the countries. I mean, really, uh, two more strong earthquakes in Turkey. Uh, southern Turkey near the Syrian border. That's the same region that was hit a couple of weeks ago. So this, this happened earlier today or last night, uh, six, a 6.4 magnitude and a 5.8 hit them this is two weeks after those massive quakes that we had uh you know from there's they're just reeling from and now they got two more and they've got more buildings collapsing because of it so far they're reporting in total since the, they started a couple of weeks ago uh over forty thousand, over forty thousand as a death toll so far and i believe that'll get higher I really do. Um, it's a shame. Let's keep these people in prayer. Let's keep, uh, well, all these stories. Let's keep, uh, but let's keep that region in prayer as well. And I know Turkey, not exactly a great ally of, you know, of the U.S. and the West, but they're people. And these are people, these are families, and uh, just people trying to go about their lives, you know. We should pray for them. Um. Jesus, Jesus help them for, for real. Uh, I did see something last night, a couple other things I saw, this is late last night before I went to bed, something about a balloon, another balloon, high altitude one uh, over or, or near Hawaii. 
I, I didn't hear anything else about it today. Now, I haven't been digging for it either, but I've been working today. But if y'all have heard anything else about that, I mean, for all we know, maybe it was a Remax balloon. I don't know. The Goodyear blimp. Who knows? <laughs> but I saw that before I went to bed. That was late last night. About another high altitude uh, object. I did see where uh, another 500 million to Ukraine. That's another whole video. I'm I'm doing a deeper dive on that one. Uh, I'm working on one. That whole mess over there. I have a whole new outlook. Well, not a new outlook, but it's been developing for a while with me. But uh, I, I'm gonna I'm that that I've just you know that's just a. a I, anyway, I'll save that. Don't get me started. I will save that one for another video. Good Lord. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so the, so it just seems like, especially with these, with the train wrecks, the, um, the fires, the, the substations, the, you know, power outages, internet outages, literally every day, it seems like this is happening. A couple of things that I've noticed, maybe you've noticed it too, is the internet seems slower than it usually is there's a lag to it and we supposedly have you know the 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 quick the um what do you call it? high speed internet it's not high speed it doesn't it doesn't feel like it doesn't seem like it's high speed it seems slow speed it seems lag speed to me that's just me maybe it's because we live kind of out in the sticks maybe that's part of it but it used to be quicker you know now it's slower it should be the other way around it should be it used to be slow and now it's quicker right i mean anyway uh, so that's that's different uh i hear a lot of people talking about uh a lot of respiratory a lot of coughing a lot of uh you know the air seems different or something. i don't know i mean tell me what y'all think what are y'all noticing but i've noticed that about the internet too so but it seems like some incident every single day and you're not going to hear about it, like I said, on your main sources. You're not going to hear about it on the nightly uh, alphabet channels, that's for sure. Let's keep in prayer. Let's keep preparing. Uh, these these power outages, these uh, these cyber things, the you know, and and it seems like almost every week you hear about an airport being down, or flights being down, or canceled, or, or delayed, or you know, thousands of people out of power. Let's continue to, to prepare for that, but because I, I think, and I've said it over and over, but power outages, you know, even for, you know, just take a look at your stocks, even, even getting ready for and preparing for uh, a power outage, even a short term, a lot of people, I would say, I don't want to guess a percentage, but I think most people are not even prepared for, to, to be without electricity, even for a day, much less a couple two or three days or a week i know I, i'd venture to say 80 percent of the people out here are just walking around totally oblivious driving wherever and, and they're not ready for a power outage that would last over four hours four or five hours so take stock inventory whatever you got to do and uh and, and and shore it up, you know, little as you, you know, a little bit at the time, you know, don't bust your budget, of course, or don't don't you know take food off the table, of course. But uh, share your thoughts on these. But I just wanted to bring these to you. And like I said, I'm going to do a, a deeper uh, another uh, video on uh, the Ukraine mess. Uh, I believe we're heading to WW3. I really do. Uh, we are marching that way. I know people are talking about it, and you, you probably hear that on other channels. But um, I, with every passing day, I believe we're heading that direction, and we need to we need to be prepared in a lot of ways for when that really does break out. And you can make an argument it already has, but anyway, uh, the fireworks really haven't started on that. But I believe they are. Anyway, take care. God bless you. I'll see you soon.